Hi everyone, Joe for Jaspi's CaseBreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Topps Chrome Baseball. It's a jumbo break, eight box, pick your team number 11, and we got a jumbo pack per box as well, and all card ship. Big thanks to this crew right here for making it happen. I appreciate it. If you got a little rooftops next to your name, that means you won those spots in the filler. And Nestor with double last spot mojo, Cardinals and Rangers got those teams last before the remaining teams were pulled for the uh, for the filler. Good luck, everybody. And uh, pick your team, fans. We do have another jumbo case loaded up on the website right now. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. If you're watching live, I just loaded it up. Let me just take these guys out of inventory here. All right. Good luck. So the Jumbos have five autographs per box on average. All right, let's see if the Dodgers got out of the top of the inning. So hopefully they'll be able to score some runs here against the Padres. Nancy Almonte with a good, uh, good one, two, three. After a long rain delay, Phillies and Braves finally got underway. It was, uh, both teams only managed like three hits through the top of the sixth. And then in the bottom of the sixth, the Braves quote unquote erupted for a few hits and three runs. And that's all she wrote. Kyle Wright gets the win. Zach Wheeler takes the loss. Kyle Wright only gave up like a couple hits. It's a nice little pitching duel. Right, but Braves win 3 nothing. Kenley Jansen with the save as well. Only seven hits total in the game. Some of these jumbo, for whatever reason, the hobby doesn't have this issue, but the jumbo kind of has some cards sticking together a little bit. Um, all card, that's right, all card ship. So in case I miss something, don't worry. It'll get there. There's Yoel Pozo for the Rangers. Last spot mojo, Nestor. There's a blue wave, Nolan Arenado. It's a 75 for the Cardinals. And another Ranger for Nestor. Nestor also has the Cardinals. And then you get Curtis Terry. Logan Gilbert's getting the uh, the home start for Seattle. Next month, he had a solo shot today. Ooh, and a printing plate autograph. That's Jared Walsh for the Halos. Who's got the and Johan? with the Angels. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. I 
Nice. Train whistle in the first box. <laughs> Rex or Gilo Rex saying he doesn't like the brakes where no cards ship. The no card ship brakes. Wander Franco's all going to Jeremy Port got randomized the Rays in the team random. Let's see if we can find some parallels of him. Here's Kiebert Ruiz, former Dodger catching prospect. Going to John and the Nationals. There's a Josh Lowe, 247 out of 399 magenta for the Rays. That'll be for Jeremy. Is there a chance of Julio autos from Jumbo boxes? Yes, both in Jumbo and in Hobby. And there's our fifth autograph, Marcos Diblan, Refractor Auto. Mr. Tree, I just dropped the checklist for you. That's forty nine out of four ninety nine. I did indeed. I, I pulled a purple chrome auto yesterday. That was out of the double header. We'll do an autograph recap at the end as well. Maybe two nights ago, out of a double header. It all blurs together. All right, Cody Bellinger, time for your bat to wake up here. Oh, yes, blue single will do. I'll take it. Bet needs to do Mookie Bet's things. All right. Box two. Good luck. We got a Corbin Burns purple to 250 for the Brew Crew. That'll be for Mark. Got a Patrick Mazika rookie autograph for the Metropolitans.
That's uh, 129 out of 499. Big prospect for the uh, for the Mets. Oh, nice. Go hustle, Cody. Are the years there? Hey, Gilo, if you're Cody Bellinger, you'll you'll take hits, however you can get them. Mookie putting one by a diving Trent Grisham, I think it was, puts one to the wall. Runners at second and third with just one out. There's Ronzi Contreras, rookie auto for the Pirates. Evan with the Pirates. There's that Bryce Harper for the Phillies. That'll be for Steven. Now can Trey Turner make up for that error here? He certainly wants to make up for it. The fire department coming here for the the heat that I'm about to pull out of here. Maybe a, another, we, we saw the printing plate. A super factor maybe? Trey Mancini, Orioles, Andrew with that one. Andrew Dawson, not Andre Dawson, but Andrew Dawson. right fire department there because it's lit fam <laughs> Eloy Jimenez 18 out of 199 aqua wave and a Whit Merrifield color match a little blue refractor for the Royals that's going to be for Nick picked up the Royals straight up thank you 38 out of 150 And we got Jose Siri signing signing this way. All right, interesting. Interesting choice. That auto going to Jeffrey. I wonder if he does. I wonder if he did them all this way, or if that's only some of them. That's where they do. They intentionally walk Freddie Freeman. Looks like it. So bases loaded for Will Smith. Will Smith has been known to to hit the clutch homer. They need, to, they need to show the how many grand slams does he have stat on the uh, on TV. Igor was at a Heat game, and Tyler Hero signed a jersey. I just saw that. Nice. Yeah, good guy Tyler Hero signing jerseys. It's hashtag good for the hobby.
All right. Another five autos to go. Good luck. And Will Smith flies out with bases loaded. Damn. That, that was the chance right there. Yeah, Jacob DeGrom. Aqua for the Mets. That's for Johan and the Metropolitans. Where does, uh, out of 199, 91 out of 199, where does Jacob DeGrom end up? He's a free agent. I think a lot of people are going to be inquiring about his services. Be the top of, rotation, top of the rotation guy for pretty much every team in baseball. It's Cal Raleigh. Mariners, that's going to be for Igor. 199 out of 250. Rookie auto. Hit the clutch home run, the walk-off home run that sent the Mariners into the playoffs. The playoff clinching home run. There is Garrett Cole. A piece of his jersey going to the Bronx Bombers. Jeremy with that one. For the Yankees. 39 out of 99. Got a Connor Siebold. Siebold, be bold. And Connor Siebold is actually uh, from here, right? Yeah, Laguna in Southern California, kid. Red Sox, that'll be for Jonathan. Uh, Rex is predicting that the Cubs will get Jacob DeGrom and he'll just fall apart, just like you, Darvish. <laughs> and then sign somewhere else and then have success. Three out of 99, Zach, short. He's 5'10". And we got Mason Jar Thompson. Nationals. John with the Nationals. Won that in the filler. That should be out of 50. Yeah, 37 out of 50. And we got a Ronzi Contreras, purple refractor autograph, Evan with the Pirates. Two twenty-one out of two fifty. Hmm, is going to see if the Royals are going to be spenders or pretenders in this new regime. There's Bo Bichette, Magenta, Speckle, 184 to 350. They should spend. Why not? They got bright young talent in Bobby Wood Jr. Got some other youngsters coming up the ranks. Why not surround them with some uh, why not surround them with some solid some solid some some stars, some established stars. Could be the beginning of something. Marcos Diplon with the Orioles for Andrew.
Is Jason Hayward a uh, Rex wondering if someone's going to pick up Jason Hayward in the offseason? He's a free agent, right? Or if he'll retire? How old is he? I mean, I could see him. You know, I could see a team. Getting him on board for a season or two for cheap. Maybe they see something in, in Jason Hayward where they're like, hey, I think we could fix that. It's only 33. Yeah, he has been around for a while. Something that the Dodgers like to do. They'll, they'll take some players off the scrap heap and... Let's see if they can if they can turn things around for him. Still plays. I feel like he plays some some decent defense, right? Oh no. Oh no. The Crone Zone, Jake Cronenworth with a solo shot off Blake Trinan. That's not a good sign for Blake Trinan. Padres trying to make this series interesting, huh? Hans Kraus. Philly, Stephen. Stephen C. with the Phillies. Yeah, I, like I said, I can, I can see the Dodgers picking up a Jason Hayward. You know, for... You know, for like a season. For like a million dollars or something like that. And then see what happens. If, he's, if he can say, play a little defense... He can still play a little defense. I think he'll he'll have a play somewhere. And we got a Ryan Jeffers for the Twins. One hundred eight out of one fifty. Johan with the uh, the uh, the Twins. Do the Yankees sign Rizzo again? I don't know. I feel like that depends on what happens in the postseason. 17 out of 199, Buster Posey. Aqua wave for my rivals of the Giants, Jason with the Giants. And another Hans Kraus for the Phillies. Steven, starting your Hans Kraus PC, whether you intended to or not. Former number two overall pick. Swifto struggling with the plain, yeah, plain Wi Fi. Always a little brutal. But hey, th thanks for uh, thanks for watching, Swifto on your uh, on your flight. Appreciate it. Yeah, you don't like the in-flight movie choices, you know, listen to all your podcasts, read all your books, you know, hey, if, you're, if the Wi-Fi is there, why not some group breaks in the air? There's Willie Castro, 96 out of 350. Pink, uh, or magenta, that is, magenta speckle. And you're, and you're getting, Swift, you're getting live updates on this 
Padres Dodgers game too. 96 out of 350 for Detroit. That'll be for Jeremy Port. Sport Port. And a purple Hassam Kim. For the Padres. Stacy with the Padres. 180 out of 250. Currently hold a 5 3 lead on my Dodgers after a. A uh, Jake Cronenworth moonshot. The Crone Zone. And we got a DJ LeMayhew relic. A couple pinstripes right there. Looks pretty sharp. That's going to go to Jeremy. Jeremy T. Oh, now you're walking, guys, Blake Trinan? Come on, man. Although, I don't know when the last time he's uh, he's pitched. He must be a little rusty. All the velocity is there. There's Riley Adams. Maybe if it was a StarTac Wi-Fi... Is that Elon Musk Wi-Fi? Maybe if it was his, that would that might make sense. Aren't aren't a lot of Wi-Fi bases uh, things? Aren't they on the ground? All right, and Riley Adams goes to John and the Nationals. Won that in the uh, filler. All right, halfway through this break, got about another thirty minutes to go. We'll do an autograph recap at the end. Jaspi should co-write a book about Jaspi starting with Boss Man's dad all the way through today. Yeah, we've discussed that idea. There is so much history in that family that we've... A book? A podcast, maybe? A series of videos? Documentary? discuss though. Yeah, it would certainly be pretty interesting. Nick's dad's, Nick's grandpa actually, was one of the first first authors of uh, the earliest hobby-related magazines, which I think ultimately paved the way um, for uh, you know stuff like stuff like Beckett magazine. But he ran one of the earliest hobby related zines. In fact, Rex, at this past national, um, at our, not at our breaking booth, we had had, had just the regular Jaspi booth. There's Mason Jar Thompson for John. Um, we actually had like a little, uh, a little uh, showcase that had some copies of those old issues from back in the day. And it was just on like, on like kind of a thicker printing paper, just three staples on the on the left side, maybe twenty pages or so. I think all all uh, all type typewritered in, and then ultimately probably photocopied at some point. But about about the hobby, about early uh, Anthony Rizzo, forty-one out of fifty, and Vidal Bruhan. 
for the Rays, Jeremy Port. About like a, a random trade night in New Jersey with 20 local collectors getting together and trading old baseball cards and stuff like that. So, you know, local card shows and so it was it's pretty fascinating. And no one was really, no one's really doing it. And uh, Mike's dad was, I want to say, a former uh, had a has a journalism background, which is why I think he even started that zine in the first place. I think he was must have been a writer for maybe a Minneapolis Star newspaper, maybe, and then when they moved to Philadelphia, the Philly newspaper, two ninety two out of four ninety nine, Mitch Haniger. Mariners, Igor. And so that's how that's how Mike got into the hobby. How is he safe? Not a good defensive day for Trey Turner, looks like. He take did that toss take him off the bag? Must have. Anyway, that's how Mike got into it. Got into the hobby, kind of being around all the all these collectors over the years. There's Connor Wong. And then eventually, yeah, see, this is where we need Mike to fill in the details and tell stories, but I, I only know the rough outline. And I want to say the better part of the 80s, he was the, uh, oh, nice pop-up. There you go, out of that inning. Um, then for the better part of the 80s, I want to say, he was with uh, with Beckett and was the price guide editor. So if you had a Beckett magazine in the 80s, it was the boss man and Jim Beckett putting up and down arrows on your cards. So you can thank Mike for that. Nick's dad, Mike Jaspi, Jasperson. It's Brandon March, 55 out of 99, and Hall of Famer. Sports Card Industry Hall of Famer. And there's Gavin Sheets. Blue Parallel. Double O seven out of one fifty. And in between all that, I think he ran some card shops in like Orange County down here. Ran some card shops, a couple different eras, I think. Maybe one in the 70s and then one in the 80s, or one in the 80s, one in the 90s. Something like that. But he was with uh, he was with Beckett for a long time, and then he went to then he went to Tops. Yeah, actually, yeah, you would probably have seen seen uh, Mike's byline in a lot of Beckett magazine articles. You could probably go th go through some old uh, old magazines. You can find his name in there. And then, then he worked for Tops. I don't know what the circumstances were in leaving Beckett. I think maybe Tops was almost like a semi-retirement sort of thing. But he kind of launched the Tops Vault. Some of you may have actually purchased some stuff from the Tops Vault. Where they pretty much the project was was let's just open up because there's a there's a vault of like uncut sheets and all sorts of memorabilia. It's just just almost, uh, I don't know what it actually looks like, but in my head it's like the end of Indiana Jones Raiders of the Lost Ark in the Pentagon when they're <laughs> when they crate up the Ark of the Covenant and they're putting it into some big thing. But so basically he developed a team. Outside of New, outside of the city, New York City, where Tops is headquartered, 
and uh, yeah, just started eBaying things, started selling stuff out of the vault. It still runs to this day. We just kind of built it from the ground up. And, um, you know, from like a little warehouse, a little factory, a little shipping center, kind of built that up from scratch and made it a pretty, pretty success, pretty profitable sideline for, for tops. And that's where, uh, that's where Teddy comes from. That's where, that's where Teddy worked with the boss man and some of our other friends at Tops. And so that's where, that's how Teddy knows the boss man. And then I moved out, then the family moved, up, moved back out to Southern California. And eventually we started this. And Teddy came out to California and we put him to work. And here we are, pulling Carlos Santana purple speckles out of here. And becomes a Hall of Famer. Principal consultant, huh? Wow. Is that the title now? That is fancy. Carlos Santana, 28 out of 299. John Heasley. Uh, I was just doing various e-commerce type of type of jobs. 107 out of 199. Directly before Jaspies, I was working at a uh, working at a high-end um, luxury goods consignment location. So, a fancy clothing consignment shop. So, like consigning like you know, Hermes handbags and Chanel jackets and handbags and Christian Louboutin shoes and whatnot. There's JT Real Muto, 349 out of 350. That's for the Phillies, that'll be for Steven. Yeah, the Disney vault would be pretty crazy too. I think I feel like Disney does do stuff like that every once in a while. There's Matt Veerling. Philly, Steven, with the fighting Phils. It was fancy, Gilo. We would often have uh, we would often have some celebrities pop. It was kind of it was kind of a famous store out in this neck of the woods. But we've had some celebrities come to look at some like vintage evening wear stuff where they can. There's a goose in the field. Look at that goose! Everyone, look at their baseball game. There's a goose in the middle of the field. Look at that goose. Jason, you see that goose? Oh, yeah. There's a goose. Are they still going to play? Right there in like shallow, shallow center field. Oh, this goose is probably terrified. It's like landed in this big green patch. Now there's all these noise and lights. It's not bothering nobody, but watch out, Goose. I don't know if that's a lucky sign for the Dodgers or a bad sign. If they come back and win, there may be... Oh, look at this. Gavin Lux. Goose Mojo. Goose Mojo? 
Lucky Goose? That's a big ass one. Rally Goose? <laughs> Is this a rally bird? If the Dodgers end up winning this, the, the rally goose might be a thing. There's Francisco Perez. John with the Nationals. And Nick Lodolo, purple chrome autograph for Jordan and the Reds. Maybe Goose Gossage. Maybe that is Goose Gossage, Rex. He's not even in the stands, Rex. Maybe he, that is Goose Gossage. He uh, did the whole uh, transmogrifying thing that they do in Harry Potter. He turned himself into a goose and landed, on the, landed in the middle of the field. Okey-doke. Second to last box, the penultimate box. Someone look at Twitter, see if Rally Goose is trending. Hashtag Rally Goose. There, there's some tweets out there. Talk to me, Goose. Fox is really dropping the ball here. We need some more Goose updates here. All right, gang. Got a Kevin Gossman to two fifty, purple chrome. Blue Jays, that'll be for Jason. <laughs> Talk to me, Goose. Where actually was that? In the outfield? Yeah, it was like shallow right field or something like that. Oh, Gilo's saying that he was escorted off the field humanely. All right. Just keep the Goose out. I mean, if, if Trace Tom, I almost said Trace Turner. If Trace Thompson hits a home run here, that's that's definitely Rally Goose. Hashtag Rally Goose. He loves so many runners on base. I know. That's just been ridiculous today. Come on. For cash considerations, let's do it. Yeah, for cash. That's what they always said on Twitter. It's like anytime you hit a home run, he's like, he was worth the cash. Yeah. He's got pop. He could hit it out. Doesn't have to though. Just put one in. It's a base hit. Just move, move some runners. Mm. 
Where are my autos here? I'm halfway through this jumbo box. I should see one by now. This is making this box is making me nervous here. There's Josh Lowe, purple speckle to two ninety nine. Jason, I think this might be a no auto box. Really? Walk. Um, no auto box? Unless I'm going crazy. Jumbles do get stuck to each other. Yeah, I don't have to go through this box again. I mean, it could happen, but that's wild. What? That is crazy. These are all from the previous box, right? Yeah. Unless the, the auto, but the autos generally don't stick together. Yeah, that's true. I, th I thought I did have a top chrome break, though. I'm not going to lie that I actually had a lot of extra autos. So maybe... <laughs> maybe it's either, there? Either there or, like, it could be in the next box, you know? That's the hope. Yeah, now these yeah you should have together. at least, like, one. If it's at least one, one yeah. On average, I guess it's very, it's very below average box. Goose, goose stole it. The goose stole it. And I'm not going crazy. I'm not like missing the autos. Sometimes they're like. Ten autos in this box. All right, that was disappointing, but final box. Pick your team eleven. Austin Barnes with warning track power. Oh, just got, just just missed. Just got under it. So much for the rally goose. Although Austin Barnes was batting for Cody Bellinger in that nine spot, so the next time the Dodgers come up in the ninth, it will be the top of the order. So it's a good a chance as any to score a couple runs. All right, there's Josh Donaldson to 199. O'Neill Cruz Refractor for the Pirates. That'll be for Evan. They said that it was escorted uh, naturally. They're liars, Joe. 
Huh? Oh wow! They were just they were chasing that poor bird around. Yeah, like right. So it stops right there. They TV said humanely. Yeah, I don't but think the that's very the, the video right evidence. There. Oh, they just grabbed it with a towel, put it over its head. Oh boy, <laughs> it's gonna get waterboarded. It's going to jail. It's going to jail. It's going to bird jail. <laughs> All right, see, there's an auto. Stuart Fairchild. Refractor auto for Jonathan and the Diamondbacks. One forty two out of four ninety nine. One twenty six out of two ninety nine, Trent Grisham, purple speckle, and a Patrick Mazika autograph for the Mets. That'll be for Johan, the Metropolitans. We need to add one extra box. I mean, I mean, if we can get one from our distributor, yeah, because they'll owe us that. I don't know. We'll, well, I'll talk to Nick. I'll see what we can do about that. But sometimes that's that's the luck of the draw. Jason was saying he's seen a box with more than five autographs. In those cases, we don't send autos back to tops, right? So the reverse holds true. But we'll see what we can do. There's Jansen Junk, Angels. It'll be for Johan. We got Brandon Lau. 250 out of 350. Purple Speckle and a Jackson Reitz. Brewers. Mark with the Brew Crew. 252 out of 299. Purple Speckle Auto for, uh, once again, Mark and the Brewers. The Magenta Speckle um, is for the Rays. So is that Wander Franco. And we got a Luis Frias right there for the Snakes. Jonathan with the Diamondbacks. All right, Silver Packs. Got eight of those, one per box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's a Julio Rodriguez, I don't want any aqua tops, um, a good investment. Hmm. That's a good question. I mean, Julio Rodriguez prices are probably as high as they're, they've been. I think that's, you know. If you believe in him being a uh, you know a perennial star, an all star year to year, than it would be. I would probably think of waiting until, or maybe like kind of lucking into an auto in our group breaks, or waiting until those prices maybe go down in the off season, if you really want to pick up some of his stuff. And like keep it for investment purposes. All right, so no short prints here.
Here's your recap. Some nice color here. And that's the junk and the printing plate. Jared Walsh at the beginning was pretty cool too. There you go, gang. That was 2022 Topps Chrome Baseball, 8-box jumbo, pick your team 11. More in the store and a doubleheader, a hobby case. Two cases, doubleheader. A lot of baseball in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.